easy everybody how you getting on man if you don't know who i am i'd like to introduce you to myself i'm ben random and before i get stuck into this i just want to say a massive big up and thanks to Mo, who's got me involved with the loaded cannon our beloved arsenal will be covering throughout the season giving our point of view after games maybe some pre-match chatter as well just giving our thoughts on the club that we love but for right now we are giving the intake on this three lines right here England making it to the first final in my lifetime and it's absolutely overwhelming. It's it's sunk in. And the reason it's sunk in is because the level of performance I felt like, especially in that second half of extra time, was such assured maturity in the way that we wanted to keep the ball. We wasn't chasing it, we were in complete control. And I just think that's the growth from 2018 to this team, this squad that we have now. I have to be honest, man, when the run-up was to this Euros, I wasn't fully behind Gareth Southgate. I have to be completely transparent. I felt like he played. Um, I know it can be classed reserve, but back then it felt more negative and I just felt like it was more of a handbrake. That's what I was calling him, Gareth handbrake. But the way that he observes a game and the level of testicle fortitude that he has to be able to bring off Jack Grealish to shore it up at the back and the decisions that he's made all the way through is the main reason why we are where we are so I want to salute Gareth Southgate because he's just given the nation something to really behold and be proud and hold on to and I believe because we've gone over that hurdle we'll go all the way the Italians are no mugs 100% been the best team in this tournament, I believe. But the way that Spain tested him, I feel that we can cause him just as much trouble. And the way that the fans were in that stadium, you can just feel this collective, cohesive energy that is just driving these boys on. And at the right moments, at the right time, the fans pick the players up. We control the game in the right moments. I want to give a special shout out to Kyle Walker. I thought Kyle Walker was fucking unbelievable and for me to be bigging up Kyle Walker trust man he must have had a game but I thought his recovery runs I thought the way that he read the game I thought that he offered energy down the wing when it was needed I just really felt it was a again a really mature performance I felt like that's the word that can really sum up this team at the moment and that performance especially was a real mature assured performance Harry Kane I know as a goon he was like what the but I felt he did the things that he does against us in Derby Day that pisses us off, yeah? But winning those fouls, just getting in the way and just buying those free kicks, man. Like, when you're on this side of it, it's blessed. When you're against it like we are a lot of the time, you're like, whoa, man, it's so infuriating. But he did what he did and he turned up, man. Raheem Sterling, listen, was it a penalty? Was it not a penalty? It'll go down in history as a penalty and that's all that matters. And um, who else stood out today? I thought the midfield got overrun a bit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Yorkshire lad, represent Bradford, living in Leeds. And uh, I've got Calvin Phillips back all the way. But I felt the game just missed him for probably the first 60 minutes. But as soon as we reshuffled, I felt like he come into his own and uh, really dictated and his energy levels were unbelievable. For our boy Bakayo, when he got the, the service that he needed, obviously he set up the, the first goal, which was an own goal. Should give it to Sterling. Forgive that one that they keep showing on replay, 2002 uh, to Rio Ferdinand. Give that Sterling, man. Of course, man. But, yo, I thought Saka was, was good. I do feel for Grealish, but I, I understand the decision that was made in bringing him on and then taking him off. I'm a massive Phil Foden fan. And this is what's dangerous about us. Is like, you knew 70, 75 minutes in, we would change the game from the bench. Like that bench, the litany of players and talent and ability that is on that bench, even for players that didn't even get on, like Sancho, are you mad? Like we are blessed. We are really blessed. I think the most thing that we are blessed with with is a mentality. I feel like we're going to the game not overconfident, but belief in our own ability. And for so, so long, I've never really seen that from an England team or a squad maybe you might have your certain individual stars but as a cohesive unit I feel every single player on that park believes that we are good enough to win this and that we are one of the best teams in the world and in this tournament we can go all the way so is it coming home it fucking is I really believe it I honestly hand on heart believe it I felt like Germany game was the one you know I felt turning a corner like that under the 
situations. I know we didn't really start off too well, but to get over that hurdle, I really felt like that was something to, to build on, to build upon. And, you know, look at this 2018 semi-final, 2021 in a final. This And the, the, the age of these players as well, it's something to be excited about. This country's needed something to be excited about for so, so long, football-wise and society. So, yeah, I'm so proud of these boys. Like, And, and you know what? The unity, the energy in the streets as well, what they're bringing to us for a sense of solitude within community and unity and, and, and then that togetherness, it's priceless. So I, I'm so grateful for them unifying the streets and the fans, man. Um, I'm not going to give a score prediction for Sunday because I don't do that, but I believe we're going to win. I believe we'll go all the way. And uh, if you want to watch the final with me, come link me in Manchester. I'll be at Smithfield Social. It'll be a sick vibe. I'll be DJing before and after. And trust me, man, you don't want to miss it. But until the final, stay blessed, stay safe, stay cool. Peace and light to you and yours. Big up the Lordy Cannon. Big things coming this season and beyond. And once again, shout out more, man. Integrity is always what it's about in life. Bless.